You're watching Good Morning Carolinas with Jason Glassbold, Crystal Costa, meteorologist Darren Stack, and Amanda Kinzen. And a very good Wednesday morning to you. Thanks for waking up with us. You know, heading back to school can be an exciting time for the little ones, but it sure can be hectic for the parents. Of course, and who doesn't need some tips on how to get out the door quicker in the morning and you got to pack those lunches yeah. for the little ones. WPDE News Channel 15's Amanda Kinzith is live at Kitchen Capers, a cooking school, with some tips. Hey, Amanda. That's right, and I tell you what, not only tips for packing lunches for kids, but hey, for adults too, why not, That's right? right? That's right, that's <laughs> right. We all have to take our lunch. Yeah, so what are we making now? We are making oatmeal bars with cherry preserves. Okay, um, so in here we have... And here we have flour, oats, brown sugar, some baking powder, and a little bit of salt. And okay. we're going to stir that up, and we're going to mix this butter in and make a crust. And then we're going to spread preserves on top of it and bake it. And then these make beautiful bars to put in your lunch or to just have as a snack when the kids get home from school. It's healthy. It's got the oats in it. Um, similar to the, like a granola bar. Yeah, a healthy yeah. snack. And easy. Once they're done, easy. Easy. I mean, here. Easy. Boom. Cut it and send okay. them on their way with it. All right. Nice. So all we do is mix this together. Uh-huh. And then we pour some butter out. Now, do you just store these in the pantry or do you keep them in the refrigerator? Keep them in the refrigerator. Okay. You can start stirring that up. All right. And how long does this whole process take? Uh, to stir all this up and get it in the oven and to bake it, probably 35 to 45 minutes. Okay, that's But you not can too do bad. it on Saturday when you've got some time or Sunday and you've right. got them ready for the week. Yeah, absolutely. Am I doing this correctly? You are doing it correctly. <laughs> I'm getting so after we pour the butter in, then we then pour we're gonna, this in? No, we're going to actually take this and make a crust down on the bottom of this pan, then put the preserves on, then put another crust on top. So we use half down here and then half on top oh, of it. Oh, okay. So, we have so the it's cherry like a preserves. little filling yeah. in there. Yeah, just oh. like the granola bars. That, but, well, yeah. it sounds delicious, and yeah. I cannot wait for it. It's going to be done by the time we leave here. Yes, so ma'am. We're going to get to enjoy this in a little bit, guys. Great. I can't wait to enjoy it. It's been a long time since Minna has brought back any food. Right? We'll take some oatmeal bars. <laughs> we were just talking about how that's yeah. a pretty healthy option. Yeah, You're it is. tricking the kids. It, it is. I mean, it's got butter, it's got sugar, but it's got oatmeal, it's got fruit. So True. It's better yeah. than just maybe, say, cookies or chips or something. And it probably you know. tastes a whole lot better than your average granola Ooh, bar. I bet. They sound good. Well, the new school year starts in just a few weeks, believe it or not, and of course it'll be back to double duty for parents. No doubt about it, but we've got you covered. WPDE News Channel 15's Amanda Kenseth went in search of an easy way to get back into the routine of making breakfast, packing lunches, and finding time to make a home-cooked meal each night. Hey, easy is the way to do it, and this is something that you can do on a Saturday when you have a couple minutes to yourself, and then boom, you are set for the rest of the week. We are That's making right. um, some granola some, oatmeal bars. Uh-huh, some okay. granola oatmeal bars. All right, so we layered the bottom. We put what on top uh, of it? This is cherry preserves, but you could use any kind of preserves, any whatever chi your child likes, whatever you like, any kind of preserves. Okay, and what's next? And then we're going to sprinkle the rest of this mixture that we had made earlier on top of here, and then we throw it in the oven and bake it for about 30 minutes. Okay, and I love this because it's healthy and it's so easy. Once you have them in the refrigerator, you can take That's them out right, for breakfast, done. for a snack, throw them in the lunch. Okay. So All right. There we go. So once we've got this done, then you can make your sandwich to go in your child's lunch box. And how Not most of our kids love the crust cut off the bread, yeah. I started using uh, cookie cutters. It makes it even more fun. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 So we have a little star here. Yeah. So, all right. You cut it out of the bread. Right. Now, you can go ahead and do these like on Saturday, too. Just throw them in the freezer and then pull them out when you make your oh. sandwich. They're already cut and everything. Okay, so you throw so the bread in the freezer. Throw the bread already cut when it's frozen. And then we go ahead and make our sandwich, and then we're ready to go. And everybody loves peanut butter right. and jelly. Now, if you're making a turkey sandwich or a ham sandwich or something like that, if you will take just a little bit of butter, and I mean just a little bit, and coat the entire piece of bread, uh -huh. then put your turkey and your ham on it or whatever you're putting on it, that will keep your sandwich from getting soggy because most of my kids that I've ever worked with have told me, oh, our sandwiches are soggy and everything. Well, that keeps the bread from getting soggy because oh, it seals the bread in. Interesting. So you can do that. I love it. Star this, sandwiches yeah. and oatmeal bars. That's that's like my perfect lunch too. <laughs> and you Guys. can't, you so can't go wrong have. with butter. Uh, well, I mean, put the butter on it. Butter, sugar. <laughs> I mean, come on. And in case you missed it, that's Kitchen Capers, a cooking school in Myrtle Beach. Mm -hmm. Phenomenal. 
You're watching Good Morning Carolinas with Jason Glassbold, Crystal Costa, meteorologist Darren Stack, and Amanda Kinzen. And a very good Wednesday morning. It is August 7th. For many of us, we are halfway through the week. Yay! Yes, <laughs> we're getting there. Yeah, we sure are. Hey, uh, you know, and as we progress through the week, you know, a lot of kids are getting ready to head back to school soon. And that can be stressful not only for the kids, but for the parents who've got to, like, make the meals and do all the changes mm -hmm. because, you know, they're used to summer. Oh, yeah, pack lunches, make the meals at nighttime when the kids get home in a hurry. So WPDE's Amanda Kinzith is live at Kitchen Capers in Myrtle Beach to help you out. Right, Amanda? That's right. We've got some great ideas. First of all, we just took this out of the oven, and it smells delicious. We've got our little oatmeal bars here that you can make on the weekend and then have them for the rest of the week. They're great snacks, great to put in lunches. And now we're making some vegetables because vegetables are healthy. We like our kids to be healthy, right? That's right. That's all right, right, so what are we doing? Okay, we are blanching these. We've got salted water. We've just thrown them in. We're letting the water come back to a boil. Then we're going to pull them out, shock them. What, we, what, what we're doing is putting them in ice cold water. It stops the cooking. And it's going to just barely cook these, makes them softer for the kids to eat. Then we can pack it in their lunch with some ranch dressing or something to dip in. Because I found if kids can dip, they'll usually eat it. Yes, dipping so, makes everything make better. better. <laughs> if your kids don't want something, oh, do you want to dip it in this? Yes, yes. it makes it more it's fun. Support, okay, right. so I didn't even know, I didn't quite know what this was, but you said it makes it taste even better. It does make it taste better. It gives it flavor, of course, the salt, a little bit of salt in it. And we're also going to then take that some of these we'll do this on Saturday when we're making our oatmeal bars, mm -hmm. so we're ready for the week. Then we're going to take some of the vegetables too and add them for to our pasta for dinner to make a meatless Monday or make a vegetable pasta. Okay, yeah. So we've got some pasta over there, and then we're just going to take that out and add some stuff to it. Add some stuff to it. We've cooked our pasta, and then we're going to get our olive oil and garlic going here. And then once our blanched vegetables come out, we'll get these out and put them in some ice cold water. Okay. How long do you leave them in there? Just until the water comes back to a boil, usually. Okay. So it doesn't take long. But you'll see how pretty and green these are going to come out and how these colors set. And they'll stay that way. So if you're doing your asparagus to throw on the grill or something, uh -huh. blanch them first. Really? And your asparagus will stay pretty and green. Interesting, and you could just leave out. these in the refrigerator. Leave them, what put a them, great snack I put them in a plastic too. bag, exactly. Yeah, when the kids come home from school. And or great, great to throw in salads. Snack. Yeah. Uh, you can do any vegetables, broccoli, cauliflower, uh, any of your harder vegetables, you know. I love this. I love these perfect. ideas. Perfect. Whether or not you have kids, this is, this yeah. is a great idea. I'm going to go home and try to do all of this. Great. Great. I'm a believer in the blanche right now. I'm going to start doing it. That Absolutely. makes a lot of sense, and it's great because, you know, you're cooking asparagus. It gets that, like, olive green tint to it and right. kind of wilts and stuff, but keep the color and the flavor. Pretty smart. And you and I are kids at heart because we dip everything. I'm a dipper. I like I like peanut butter, ranch, yeah. everything. I know. So apparently we never grew up. That's how I eat right. my veggies. <laughs> it's August. In the next yeah. couple of weeks, all the kids in our area are heading back to school. And, you know, it's a very hectic time for parents. So we want to help you out. Yeah. I mean, you, you got meals. You got schedules that change. So right. we've got some easy ideas for you, uh, things you can do in the kitchen to make life just a little bit easier as the kids go back to school. Amanda Kinseth is live at Kitchen Capers and she has the details. Amanda? That's right. And you know, making stuff beforehand and then having it for the entire week, that makes life really easy. Um, kind of like what we did here. So these strawberry oatmeal bars are so delicious. I'm going to go home and make these. These Good. are amazing. So we made those. These are healthy. They can eat them for after school snacks or throw them in the lunch. So we'll go ahead and pack that up in here. And then we have a peanut butter and jelly sandwich cut on star bread because that makes it more exciting to eat. And you said that you can go ahead and cut all the bread beforehand and throw it in, throw the, it in freezer. the freezer and then pull it out to make your sandwich. There you go. All right. So these are vegetables and they taste even better because say what you did to them. We blanched them. You blanched them. So mm -hmm. you boiled them and then throw them in cold water, water to stop the cooking. And then they can hang out in the refrigerator for after school snacks or to throw in the lunches. Of course, a banana is always an easy thing to put in there. And don't forget your dipping sauce for the vegetables because that makes them more fun to eat and you want your kids to eat healthy stuff. That's right. 
And then we also have apples here too. Add some more fruit in here. And you've got a special tip for making apples. Yeah, if you go ahead and cut the, your child's apples before you send them, if you'll squeeze lemon juice over them and just put them in the plastic bag, it keeps the apple from turning dark. Okay. So therefore it stays fresh all, you know, from the morning until they eat it for lunch. Okay, and of course yeah. you've got to eat dinner too. Um, so we came over here and made some pasta. And you can even take some of those vegetables that you had already hanging out in the refrigerator and throw them in there, right? Right, and then we've got, and this is also good because you could serve it at room temperature. So you could use this also for your child's lunch if they really like pasta. Great. So then you've got all the colors that you need. Your child should eat every color of the rainbow every day. So we've got all these beautiful, bright color vegetables. Yeah, in and here. then you can also make this, throw it in the refrigerator, and they can make it when they get home or maybe for an easy dinner that night. That's Guys? Right. Hey, I love it. Jeez. Yeah, I love it. Yeah, and uh, and our director Brandon Goodman also said that if you put lemon on uh, avocado yeah. guacamole, that it'll help keep it from turning brown too. Which you know, if you put guac in the fridge, it yes. turns brown the next day. So you're right. I had no idea. Yeah. Great little helpful tips. <laughs> Thank you, Brandon.